Hey everybody, Nate here from the Vino Paraiso Wine Store. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about why wine shipping costs so much. Um, you know, shipping wine is expensive for a couple of reasons. One, the bottles of the wine, they weigh quite a bit. And when you ship stuff, especially when you're shipping across country, the shipping companies, they got to charge you for that weight. And, you know, it's one thing that uh, there's not much you can do about that. Unfortunately, the wine weighs a bit, that's what it is. Also, the uh, shipping companies have you require you put it in special packaging. So normally, a lot of times, wine will show up into our store like this from the distributor in a little bottle like this. And what we have to do is we have to put it in our own packaging. We have these crates that protect it so when it's shipped to you, uh, it's kept safe and sound. So if you damage and impact, your wine's gonna arrive all right. Um, this is a pulp recycle shipment container. We also have some styrofoam ones uh, around here somewhere. Let me grab one, hold on. So sorry about that. We have these styrofoam containers, another option. Um, personally, they, I don't care for these. They're not very environmental friendly. They take up a lot of space. Um, and then once you get the patch, I mean, what are you gonna do with them? You gotta throw them out. Um, you can't really recycle that stuff. So, what we have to do is we have to put them in a box like this. We tape it up and then the wines, they lay inside here. So for a big box like this, it holds 12, put them in here. We've got to put these trays with it and the box becomes about twice as big. So, you know, that's one of the things that the shipping companies requires that the, that the wines sit in a careful package, which is actually for your benefit too, because your wines are going to arrive safe and sound on time. Um, that being said, that adds to the cost, and unfortunately, that gets pushed on um, to you. So, we hate that wine shipping costs so much, but it's kind of an unfortunate effect of the business. Now, a lot of times people say, well, other places have free shipping, they have discounted shipping, free shipping, or you know, flat rate shipping. And what I gotta say about that is, there's no such thing in the world as free shipping. UPS, FedEx, other shipping companies, they are charging people for shipping somebody's paying for it and you know maybe the, the 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 cost of the shipping is absorbed in the cost of the wine um, sometimes people get this deal on wine where they can purchase it super cheap because it's discontinued discounted or whatever and the too much inventory they want to get rid of it so the seller of the wine is able to uh, you know carry the cost of the shipping in the bottle of the wine but for the most part um, at Vino Party East Wine Store, we want to offer the wine at the lowest possible price we can. Um, so we, we don't offer um, case discounts, all that stuff. So what we do, we do, the reason why we do that is we want you to have the best possible price, whether you're buying one bottle, 12 bottles, 24 bottles, or a mix. We don't want you to get penalized for having to buy 12 when you only need six, or you want to get two of this, two of that, two of that, and you got to pay more for the wine because you didn't buy, it, buy enough of it. So, that's what we uh, feel um, we want to offer and we think that's important that you're always getting the best pricing. And so because we do that, we um, don't include any of the cost of the shipping in our price. We just strictly pass on the cost of the shipping, the cost of the packaging that the uh, companies require us to do. Um, and then that's just passed on to you guys. So we're trying not to make any money on the shipping. We want that to be as cheap as possible because we want you to spend your money on wine, not on shipping. And I think that's what you guys want to do too. Um, the last thing that makes shipping so expensive is we have to put these shipping labels on there that says no one under 21 is uh, allowed to accept this package and do not deliver to intoxicated people. And the government requires that to make sure we're not shipping it to minors, shipping it to drunk people. And you know, that's important for you. So when you're shipping wine, you want to make sure you're shipping it to an address where someone over 21 can receive it and sign for it. And best thing we recommend is if you can, ship it to your place of employment or business, somewhere where somebody's gonna be there throughout the day. Um, that way the wine comes, delivered, signed, boom, you got it. Otherwise, you ship it to your house, you step out for an errand, and they come to deliver it, nobody's there. Guess what, they're not gonna leave it on the package, on the doorstep for you, like uh, if you're ordering t-shirts off of Amazon. So the guy's got to come back. And that means it's just another chance, another day that something could happen to your wine. We hate that. 
Um, and unfortunately, the shipping companies also charge a fee for that. They charge a $5 fee approximately to have somebody sign for it. Um, so that's kind of in a nutshell, what makes shipping wine so expensive? To recap, shipping wine is expensive for one, wine weighs a bunch, it's heavy, and it costs a lot of money to ship wines when it's heavy. You know, a box like that full of feathers, five pounds. Big full box case of wine is about 40 pounds, it's heavy, it's gonna cost money. Um, the shipping companies, they charge for it. The more wine weighs, the more they're gonna charge for it. Two, uh, you got the, the, uh, the extra packaging that's required. And three, the adult signature. So that's just a little backstory of what goes into shipping wine. It's not just as easy as taking the package that we get it in and off it goes. A lot goes into it. So I thought we'd educate you guys a little bit on how that is. Anyways, I'm Nate with Vino Paraiso. This here is our back wine uh, shop in the warehouse. And uh, it's a little messy back here. Hope you enjoy this little educational video. Uh, if you like what you saw, please comment. Leave us a question. If you have a question about shipping wines, please uh, enter in the comments. Um, otherwise, up here, subscribe, subscribe. We got a subscription for our YouTube video. So, anyways, if you like, we subscribe, comment, whatever. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Look forward to another educational video. Probably next time we'll have some wines to try and drink and uh, a little bit more exciting. Then talking about boxes in the back. But anyways, cheers. Nate from Reno Party. So.